Can you talk a bit about integration into daily life after awakening? Thank you. I love that you put awakening in quotes because it is not, awakening is what the dream character, which is us, what we think we are, this human walking through space and time and birth and death and jobs and Twitter and no Twitter and all that. Awakening is what that dream character calls something that's not describable, that cannot be spoken in words because words are by nature dualistic, meaning there's a subject and an object. That's how language is set up. It's set up really to mimic human thought. And human thought is often discursive, meaning it refers back to a thinker, to a self, to a separate individual moving through time and space. And it turns out none of that is true. And that can just be, there's no one to realize it. That's the crazy thing. It becomes hard to talk about. So we're just gonna use the standard words to talk about it. So integrating awakening, awakening is how the mind describes the falling away. It's not a gaining something. The falling away of the illusory sense that we are this, and what it falls away into cannot be described, but it's, in words, the easiest way to point at it is saying just this, all that is, exactly what's happening, the radiant nature of this presence, emptiness showing up as form, unconditional love. The, the, all the words mean absolutely nothing, but they're kind of shooting like darts in the direction of, this non-experience. And when I say non-experience, it's it's really borrowing from people like Jim Newmans who, who say, there's no one to have an experience. You think you're having an experience because there's this illusion that there's a separate one experiencing through consciousness objects in the world. It's simply not true. So when we talk about awakening, we say, okay, that illusion drops either temporarily, completely, transiently, we, it's different in all of the manifestation, but in reality, nothing's different because nothing's happening. It's always and already just exactly this. There just appears to be this illusion, which is also just this, of a self navigating space and time. So how does that non-existent self reintegrate into a non-existent life in a non-existent world that's not separate from all that is? That's the question that's being asked. And you can see why it's, in the absolute sense, impossible to answer it in any rational, in any meaningful way, except to say, I guess you could say practically, you can have that realization can occur and you can, and then, and the world is navigated. The apparent world is apparently navigated by no one, but it shows up to others as exactly nothing has changed. Anger arises, fear arises. These things still arise. They're they appear as part of everything that's happening and then they're gone. But there's the difference is there's no illusion that there's someone owning those experiences or that those experiences are happening too. They are just exactly as they are. And to even call them experiences is too much because who is experiencing them? You look for that experiencer in your experience. Your, see how it's impossible to talk? You just get tripped up on the words, but it doesn't matter. You, we gotta talk. So. If you look in your experience, you can search and search and search and search for the one who's looking. And, and start with that. And then ultimately it may be seen that, mm, oh, well, that, I'm not this, I'm not this, I'm not this. All you can say is I'm not this, 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 I'm not this. Well, what are you? That's unspeakable. It can only be known and even known who's knowing it but it's right here. It's always and already here. All of reality is simply this. It's always and already this. It can't be anything else. It's never been anything else. There's no future, there's no past. There has always only been this perfect empty radiance showing up as this Zubin waving his hands at a apparent lens at an apparent distance to apparent individuals that are apparently scratching their head going, what the fuck is this bald man saying? <laughs> so integrating into regular life is simply 
life happening with no resistance, no ownership, and no self, no self, no problem. But life still happens. Perfectly, it appears. And as from that, it appears as unconditional perfection and love, even the shittiest aspects. A piece of steaming dog shit on the sidewalk is the radiance of perfection of now. It is. But that doesn't mean that the conditioning of this happening is going to lead to you picking up that piece of poo and like giving it a kiss. That's, I mean, maybe that'll happen. Maybe you're one of those people that likes to kiss dog poo. I mean, hey, different strokes. But it's likely that it's not. So life just continues. It just continues without a liver of it, which means it continues without ownership of problems. And it's actually seen by no one <laughs> to be perfect. How could it be otherwise? It's exactly as it is. It's just this isness of this. It's just can't talk about it. Does exist, can't be expressed, as David Kars said brilliantly in his book, Perfect Brilliant Stillness, which I recommend if you want to lose your mind and lose yourself and die before you die. <laughs> 